Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I am Exarf and we are here in An Orlando, uh, which is much colder today than it was back in the days when we uh, first went to this area back in Dark Souls 1. Now, uh, I do notice that thing uh, up there. I do remember the... Um, that we got that item that can turn us into a dragon. Um, like, in a place where this was very prominent. So, I do wonder if that's actually our dragon peak. That seems likely. I uh, wonder if we'll... I'm almost assuming that we'll end up there in some way, at some point. Um, but I don't know exactly when. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, we're gonna try to clear out this area, possibly give a, give the boss a try, but uh, depending on how big the area before it is, uh, we might not get there just yet. Um, we want to first of all head in here because this is this is new. If they, we can actually go in there, that might be a uh, a shortcut or something for later. Okay, I guess that's the the silver knight that we just defeated. Anything around the corners? Nope. So what were you guarding? Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. So... What's that supposed to be? Uh, I'm assuming it's not THE Crestfallen Knight. From, uh, from the Firelink Shrine. Soul found in the corpse of a Crestfallen Knight. So yeah, probably not THE Crestfallen. Okay. So let's try this door here. Since I, I didn't realize there was a door here, so I'm almost assuming now that there is, uh, that I actually won't be able to to go in there. Since you rarely can open doors from the side you first encounter them, and it's not even openable. And that's the same, actually, that exactly the same as it was in uh, in uh, Dark Souls One. So that makes perfect sense. In uh, in Dark Souls One, you would come here and you would go down. Here, I believe, and there would be some uh, uh, some things you could run down, and eventually you start fighting a bunch of silver knights. Um, so it, I guess it's kind of in the same areas where we fought the silver knights uh, here, but but not quite. Okay, so we're gonna head into the ruined cathedral where I'm assuming the boss here is going to be Aldrich, 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 uh, since uh, we did get an item that said that he was now in the Ruined Cathedral. Um, and the reason I know that this is the Ruined Cathedral is uh, because there was a bunch of... Um, uh, the, but, but a bunch of items saying that the Silver Knights are guarding the Ruined Cathedral and that uh, Smo was the last knight at his post in the uh, Ruined Cathedral. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna, gonna see about this place. I'm wondering if there's going to be like a lot of places to explore down here uh, since yeah I don't know it's, it's a bit of a short path to to the boss or maybe not to the boss but like from the last one to this one uh, feels like we haven't had as much uh, of a traversal as we've had in the past so uh, let's uh, try to fight these guys Oh, that's bad. I didn't realize that would completely ruin my stamina. I might have been a bit overconfident there. Ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> I am being silly now. I just want to get away from here and heal up, but they're not letting me. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, maybe rolling isn't that easy. Just die on me. All right. Hello, you big guy. Are going down. 
Ah, why aren't you? Okay. That was a bit annoying. <laughs> Where did you come from? Okay, there is still another one of the deacons down there. The deacon skirt. Okay. And another proof of Concord kept. I don't suppose. Nope. Now, the thing I'm most worried about down here isn't these deacons, since the deacons have proven to be fairly easy so far. Uh, but rather the uh, the big spider monkey guy um, up there somewhere. We can't see from uh, from right here. And it seems like we have a bunch of slimes as well. That's an interesting choice of enemies to put there. Though I guess we saw them in uh, in the Cathedral of the Deep as well, so then maybe that makes sense. I wonder what happened here. If it's like Abyss Corruption, or if the Deep corrupts in a similar way to the Abyss. Or if it's just been like burnt down somehow. Aren't we gonna get more deacons? I thought there would be like deacons in front of the fog wall for some reason. I guess I'm hearing someone throw fire at us, so yeah, <laughs> I guess they are there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am getting way overconfident. But yeah, these are... There's nothing big and threatening about these guys. Uh, at least so far. Though there is about that thing. I haven't actually fought one of those guys in... Uh, on like... Normal ground. I've just been like cheating my way um, through, through my battles with those. We should just... Trying to use that, but that didn't seem to do much. <laughs> I still don't actually know what the special attack for for these two-handed weapons do. Uh, does it just like send me spinning and doesn't seem to do that much damage or anything? No, I, I have no idea. <laughs> it just costs FP. Oh, did not expect to get hit by that. So after we get through this area, I'm going to have to look at some of the items we got uh, last episode, I believe. Um, since, uh... Oh, whoa, where did you come from? I hope they're not like respawning or something like that. I don't want to overuse my firebombs either, though I do have quite a few of them. Uh, but might be a good idea to get these guys together so that we can uh, uh, we can uh, use firebombs on both of them like that. Alright, any more of you? Yeah, so they're like lining the ceiling. That probably explains why why they were dropping down on me like that. Uh, hmm. I am much more happy about those guys dropping down on me than I am about that thing up there when dropping down on me. Um, but I guess we've been here. Oh, we haven't picked this up, one up though. Moonlight Arrow. We're we gonna check that as well. I think we got some dragon, um, like dragon slayer arm uh, arrows as well that I haven't looked at. So let's uh, go through some uh, some of our recent acquired items. Magical arrows said to have been used by the Dark Moon Knights. Imbued with a silver light, these arrows inflict magic damage. It is said that long ago the god of the Dark Moon, Gwendolyn, 
wielded these arrows with a matching golden bow. Yeah, so I don't. I'm not actually sure if the royals of old are actually the these gods, the Gwyn family. But like, if they are, then uh, we had some items saying that the the royal family passed away. Um, so I guess I won't be encountering any of those. But then it's interesting, like who the god that um, Pontiff Solovon actually imprisoned for for Aldrich to to devour. Large spear-like arrows created by the giant blacksmith of the gods. So that's the um, that's the giant we encountered downstairs uh, that that was dead when we got here. Can only be used with great bows. These large arrows were said to have been used by uh, dragon hunters during the Age of the Gods, easily pierces human flesh. Brass Armor Armor of a knight once known uh, as the Dark Moon. Uh, it is said that this brass armor hides something hideous within. Something about its silhouette suggests femininity. Um, so yeah, we, this was the Firelink, or not the Firelink, the, the Firekeeper um, of, uh, of an Orlando who used this. Uh, not sure what 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 horrible things it uh, hides within, other than like the darkness of a uh, firekeeper in general. We got Henri sword. We definitely want to check that out as well. Sword precious to Henri, another unkindled, the dullest type of blade found in the ruined land of Astora. Only, it was once the sword of an earnestly noble figure. And its attacks are boosted by that elusive essential property unique to humans. Luck. Hmm. I wonder if I could... I don't recognize the sword, but I wonder if, uh, if it actually exists in some other game and you can figure out who, who that uh, earnestly noble figure was. A divine ring granted to the dark moon Gwendolyn in his youth causes males to perform female actions and vice versa. Uh-huh. Gwendolyn was raised like a daughter through the aura of the moon, and was said to behave like a sullen brooding goddess. Uh, that's interesting. Not sure I would care to use it, but, but it's cool that you can just switch between animations. Uh, it's actually a kind of interesting ring, though it's a shame that it uses a slot, so <laughs> I don't see why you would want to use this. Now that we're here, we might want to look at our rings and see if we don't want some... Uh, Want to change things up a bit. Uh, since we do have... I've been talking about using the... The... Uh, let's see, does this like ruin my... I could actually get rid of this. I, I don't need the... Um, Havel's, um, Havel's ring. So in that case we could change it to... Boost attacks as long as attacking persists. That seems like more interesting than uh, recovering HP. Recovering HP is good, of course, but yeah, it's probably not going to be like a sh significant amount. But this one actually takes us 270. Is that too much? No, it's not. So that's good. Uh, I wonder if we can get to that uh, contraption over there without getting uh, attacked by the the monkey thing on the way. Oh, you came down there. Ah, whatever. Let's just do this. It'll take too long to defeat. It's gonna try to stick close to the, the wall so I don't have to deal with... Um... Okay, there it comes. There it comes. I wonder if we can maybe go up here and have some uh, better luck fighting it in this area. Wait, did it jump up again or something? Where on earth did it go? Oh, okay, okay it's right there. <laughs> that explains things. Oh, whatever. We'll just speed through this. I don't want to waste too many of our firebombs seeing how we might just have to come back here later. You look creepy. Oh, damn it. I don't like you. Is everyone down now? 
No, there's still some. God damn it, there's too many of you. What about now? Nope, still plenty of you left. <laughs> Alright. Um. Hmm. Do we dare? We probably do. Um. We have a fair amount of souls, but, but I think that's okay. I kind of want to try to fight it from, like, a more convenient angle, though. I'm wondering if we, we can, like, fire arrows at it from here or something. I don't think I have more arrows to, to fire at it, though. Uh, I guess that didn't actually make it care as much as I had hoped. Okay, I thought for sure it would come my way if I did that. But I guess not. You're not aggroed, still? Maybe this allows me to sneak around it. If we're lucky. It might not actually spot me. It's probably gonna spot me. I kind of just want to get up here, see what happens. Is that a bunch of cursed stuff? Yeah, it probably is. I don't actually remember how to, to fight this thing. How do you like firebombs? Hmm. That'd be a good thing to weaken it with. That might not be good enough. Yeah, this might be a... I'm probably way too, too cowardly, <laughs> honestly, but uh, this feels like it might take a while. It's standing in a good spot to drop down on it, but also feels like you might not want to do that. Well, let's see if he actually even cares about us if we go down here. If it like re registers that we're in the the fighting area, but otherwise we can just can sort of sneak past it and try to open this thing. The silver knights are just everywhere. Okay, we have a shortcut back here, uh, which means I almost definitely want to actually fight you, since we have a nice chance of uh, defeating you i'm guessing these things will have fallen down now okay let's take care of those first oh we have a chest here that we haven't even seen is it a uh, normal chest or is it a mimic i can't quite tell which is making it a bit scary to actually try to fight around it, but it might be good Finally, I think that's it. <laughs> uh, can we actually see the chain on this thing? Not really. It's hidden, which makes me feel like it, they probably want it to be hidden. But uh, probably just to scare you. Another Estus shard. Oh man, we got a lot of like Estus at this point. Like way more than I would think. Uh. Very excited about heading in there in a bit. <laughs> That's gonna be cool, I think. Well, we might want to start taking care of you. Oh, that's like... You don't have much health, actually. <laughs> so, you don't want to get hit by it, because that gives you curse. Which absolutely sucks. Oh, nice! Nice, 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 nice. 
And you are down. So what will you give us? Aldrich Ruby. But yeah, these are obviously associated with, uh, with Aldrich then. Uh, so we got the other one. We got uh, Aldrich Sapphire, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, recovers FP from critical attacks and recovers HP from critical attacks. Which is definitely one of my more one of my favorite bits um, or things to equip in uh, in Bloodborne, where things that gave you like gave you stuff for using critical attacks. Though in that case, I believe it was a lot easier to get critical attack because that was one of the main components of its battle system. So this is just the same lore about. Uh, uh, all just wanting to share uh, the joy of of like eating people. I don't actually know what that's supposed to mean, um, but I think before we actually head in there, we'll want to head back to, to the filing shrine. And I also think that this is probably going to be the last bit of this episode. Well, actually, I think we'll have time to like give it one go before uh, uh, give the boss battle one go before we we. Taking my like, did I try to pull this from here? No, uh, I guess I. Or, hmm. I just want to figure out a way to get down there, and I don't know what that way would be. I'm just thinking if you could send this down and like get on top of it or something like that, as it was heading down. But I don't think that's it. Huh. All right. Back to the shrine. Uh. Hmm. And the uh, red-eyed Silver Knight actually uh, gets back on his feet. Uh, which, is, of course, that happened to other uh, red-eyed knights as well, so that makes sense. But, uh, alright, so we want to head over here and uh, give uh, give the blacksmith uh, the Esther Shard as well as the new coal. Ah, well, Matt, it is good to see you in good health. Hopefully he has something what cool to say about day. that piece of coal. My, my. The coal of that peaceable giant. Seems like ages past. I imagine his passing was long ago. I miss the old bugger right do. We still don't know why you're alive, though. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons never before seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> That's very kind of you. But I don't really... I guess we have all the coals now, since all the icons up on, uh, on top are, are completely filled out. So that makes sense, if uh, these are all the things you can actually infuse weapons with. Oh, I don't actually know. Hmm, did we ever check what the... What the crystal infusion does? That feels new to me. Anyway, let's reinforce the other flask once more. Pretty be careful. I don't we need 9,000 souls. So how much for the... Crestfallen Knight? I'm always worried about using this Crestfallen Knight soul in case it's like, oh, you need this to uh, to bring the Crestfallen Knight back to life or something like that, but we're gonna use it anyway. And that's just the amount I need. Alright, so we are going with um, Attunement one more, which gives us the third Attunement slot, so now we can start to use Tears of the Nile. Um, and uh, also dexterity uh, going up once so we can uh, get some more power out, out of our weapons. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. So, the question is how protected are we from, uh, from running just all the way up there? Uh, we're not embered up or anything. I don't know if we're still in the area where we'll get invaded a lot if we ember up. 
but this feels like it could be a place for some NPC summon, so maybe we'll use um, an Ember once. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe we'll first do a little bit of a suicide run over to the boss this first time. I want to see how how simple it is running over there, and seeing if uh, that demon reappears. Or the beast, rather. Okay, that's fairly easy. So, who's waiting in here? Is it Aldrich? Yes, devourer of gods. Who have you devoured? Well, okay. Probably want to use those pillars. This is the song here is feeling pretty. Uh, oh, you're doing damage right to my shield, and you're a bit slight. Okay, you have totally eaten Gwendolyn. That's who you are looking like. That is interesting. Are you gonna like change appearance throughout the boss fight or something like that? Oh, it is probably a horrible place to be now. Okay. Yeah, this song is very familiar. I don't, I don't know if it's actually just. Uh... Oh god damn it! It's stupid of me. Uh, I don't know if it's actually just uh, the uh, the Gwendolyn fight boss uh, music, or if it's um... like uh... something else. Yeah, we can do a lot of damage to you. That's cool. So far, it's not too bad, but I kind of assume that it would go crazy now. But uh, that we got past the halfway points. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, sort of just decided to take that damage. <laughs> whoa, that was a weird delayed uh, homing attack. Getting out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's new. And I don't like it. Oh, okay, okay. You don't want to stand in that, I guess. And I just keep going now. This is new. It's very new, and I don't like it. Okay, it's just like a homing thing. I, I thought it was like going out. Oh god, and I'm dead. <laughs> oh yeah, so that second part... The third part was like trivial, even. The second part uh, feels like we'll have to, to give it a few tries before we actually beat it. So, we are going to take on that boss in the next episode. Uh, so until then, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on Dark Souls 3. Bye bye.